Stop right there Let the moment linger for a second Look around you Tell me what you see Listen carefully Tell me what you hear Is it not evident? Is it not written in the stars? Can you not see it? Can you not hear it? It's a jungle out here Until you learn Until you learn to behave like a predator You'll be eaten and that's the law Don't look at me like that Don't be shocked You know this You understand this The problem is you're privileged The problem is you've been nurtured for too long. Always out here with open hands and open mouths. Ready to be fed a bucket load of entitlement. Scooped from the deepest crevices and cesspools of self-hate. Wide eyes and soft hands. These hands have never worked a day in their life. These hands have never bled for a cause These hands have never ached from overuse These hands have never been stolen from conflict These hands are useless You are useless You fooled You actually believe that predators are the same if this is so, if this is so, then why don't they hunt and eat the same prey? See, a crocodile and cheetah are both predators, but they are not the same. What I'm trying to tell you is that, as humans, we are equal, but not equal. See, if you don't agree with me, then explain how some people die of starvation. Explain to me how they have to ravage through your waist in order to find something to sustain their broken bodies. Tired. Homeless. Sick. With no one to turn to. But the problem is, you think you're a crocodile. You think you're just gonna sit there and wait for the prey to come to you. Yes, that's what crocodiles do. That's what they've been built for. They have it within them to sit and wait for the prey to come to them. You sitting there as well, but you know crocodile. With each day you get weaker and weaker until a point where you're overwhelmed by your situation. You are starving. It's because you know crocodile. You are a cheetah. And for a cheetah to eat, it needs to get out there and actually hunt its prey down. Grab it by the scruff of the neck. Kicking and wheezing. For if it does not, it will starve. And it will die. And that's the law of the jungle. We are equal but not equal. I don't know if you understand me. See, there are people out there who get what you get in a year in half a day sitting at home. And you work over 70 hours a week. That's including weekends. But you think you're a crocodile. And you think you'll just let the prey waltz into your direction. Oh, please, Mr. Crocodile, eat me. Pathetic. 
You're sitting there, complacent in your situation. Listen to me now. Listen to me clearly. You are no crocodile. Worst of all, I'm still debating on whether you're a predator. See, you lack instinct. That guy living in Santon with another house in Durban North, he's a predator and he's a crocodile. He will beat you at work and beat you in life because you have embodied the wrong predator. We are not the same. You cannot afford to wait. You are a cheater. You need to get out there and chase your prey down by any means possible. Not necessary, possible. The first thing you need to cheat is complacency in poverty. You are a cheater. Misfortune has shaped you into what you need to be. You have a light frame and aerodynamics. Because you've got nothing. Your drive is unmeasurable. Because you're driven by hunger. You're driven by pain. You have incredible speed. Because you know what it feels like to be disappointed. To be in distress. To miss the opportunity because you are not fast enough. You are a cheater. Embody the right predator. You can't afford to be going to the biggest parties. You can't afford to let someone outwork you. And some of you can't even afford to sleep. You are a cheater. The objective is to eat by all means possible. Not necessary. But let's assume that I'm wrong. Let's assume you're not a cheater. For argument's sake, let's say you're a hyena. Now you sit there with wide eyes and say, what now? Well, it's quite simple. Hyenas need to eat too. The objective stays the same. But the method differs. You are a hyena. And you hunt when you can. But if need be, and you're being strangled by the structures of the economy, you will scavenge. You are an opportunist. You dine with the bigger predators because your objective is to eat. So what if you're not in the big five? See, there's a reason why the big five is in danger. Hyenas are thriving. A hyena is a whole different type of predator. I'm going to need you to embody the right predator. I'm going to need you to fully understand and comprehend that it is a jungle out here and you will be eaten. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me. I'm in this with you. And if our paths, if our paths they cross and you haven't embodied the right predator, I will hunt you and I will eat you because I am a predator and I need to survive. It's a dog eat dog world out here. So I'm gonna need you to hear me out because we've got birds eating snakes. But snakes are predators too. You need to embody the right predator. It's no use being a shark in the desert. It's no use being a lion out at sea. But you classify yourself as a predator. They will eat you. Assess your situation. Assess your environment then embody the right predator. And I'm not talking about no zoo bred Humpty Dumpty predators. I'm talking about the one mistake I killed you. The ones that feed off competition. The ones that thrive under difficult circumstances. With the disgust.
everlasting attitude for success. Now prioritize your goals. Envision your objectives. Perpetuate your attitude. And embody the right predator. You already know who it is. You already know what time it is. The grind never sleeps. <laughs>